Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. Sunnah Revival by Sheikh Mu'iz Bukhari The Beautiful Physical Description of the Final Prophet Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh This is Mu'iz Bukhari recording for the Daily Reminder Network My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, today I have some good news as well as sad news to share with you all. Let me start off with the sad news and then share you up with the good news inshallah ta'ala. The sad news is that this is the 30th episode of the Sunnah Revival series which indicates that we have come to the end of this amazing series where we discussed many of the beautiful Sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. As for the good news is that we have decided not to conclude the series but to continue the episodes on a random basis. Therefore, you may look forward to new episodes coming your way soon, inshallah ta'ala. Now, in regard to today's episode, as it is the 30th one, I thought of educating ourselves in regard to the beautiful physical description of our noble prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, a gentle reminder that throughout the episode, please don't forget to send excessive blessings and salutations upon our beloved messenger as you hear of his beautiful description, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. To draw a pen picture of his appearance and capture his true beauty is beyond any human being's capability. Just as Imam Qurtubi rahimahullah is reported to have said, the full beauty and elegance of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has not been made manifest. Otherwise, it would not have been possible for a human being to even behold and look at his beauty. Allahu Akbar. But the Sahaba ridwanullahi ta'ala alayhi majma'een have endeavored according to their capabilities to preserve whatever they could in terms of his description sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Therefore, the description and beautiful characteristics that I will be sharing with you all is derived from various reports, various narrations of the Sahaba and our scholars. May Allah be pleased with them all. Now moving on to the description. Prepare yourselves to be amazed and dazzled, O believers, at the description of your beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. He was neither too tall nor was he very short. He was of a medium stature sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. But it was a miracle bestowed upon him that in any gathering he used to be the tallest individual. He had a striking appearance and a radiant face sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Kana abiyad mushrabun bayaduhu humrah. He had a wheat colored complexion with a tinge of redness. He was neither very fair like lime, nor very dark, nor brown, which results in darkness. He was illuminant and radiant, more luminous than even the full moon on the 14th night, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Ka'b ibn Malik, radiyallahu an, is reported to have said, كَانَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ إِذَا سُرَّ اسْتَنَارَ وَجْهُ حَتَّى كَأَنَّهُ قِطَعَةُ قَمَرُ Allahu Akbar. Whenever the Prophet ﷺ was pleased by something, his face used to light up like a piece from the full moon, like a sliver from the full moon. Allahu Akbar. Abu Huraira radiallahu an is reported to have said, "Ma ra'aytu shay'an ahsan min Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ka'an al-shams tajri fi wajhi." I have not seen anyone. anyone more handsome than the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. It was as if the sun was running through his face. It was as if the sun was running through his face. Allahu Akbar. His hair was neither very straight nor very curly, but had a slight wave to it sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. And his eyes, ah, what beautiful eyes. There was a fine contrast in his eyes with a bit of redness. The black in his pupils was immensely black and the white of his sclera was a sparkling white. And these two beautiful eyes were protected by long eyelashes sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. His eyebrows were arched and precise but they did not join sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. 
He had broad shoulders from which we may gather that he had a wide chest. He did not have a protruding belly, rather it was in proportion to his flat chest. And he had long hair which reached his earlobes sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Anas radiallahu anh is reported to have said, I haven't felt any silk or material softer than the palms of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Abu Juhayfa radiallahu anh is reported to have said, فَأَخَدْتُ بِيَدِهِ فَوَضَعْتُهَا عَلَى وَجْهِهِ فَإِذَا هِيَ أَبْرَدُ مِنَ الثَّلْجِ وَأَطْيَبُ رَائِحَةً مِنَ الْمِسْكِ I took the hand of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam and placed it on my face. It was colder than ice and much more better in fragrance than musk. Allahu Akbar. His neck was beautifully and elegantly long and his voice had a commanding boom and echo. When he was silent, dignity engulfed him. And when he spoke, it was articulate, eloquent and clear. Sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. His speech was clear, concise and to the point, not too short nor too long. His words flowed like jewels and pearls of a beaded necklace. When he smiled, his teeth were perfectly spaced out and not close together. Sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. When he would speak, it was like a light radiating from his teeth and within his mouth. When he walked, his pace was powerful, lifting each foot clearly off the ground, and he leaned forward slightly as if descending a slope. Sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. The soles of both of his feet were fleshed. Sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. This quality is praiseworthy in a man as it denotes strength, bravery and courage. But it is not praiseworthy for a woman. Jabir ibn Samura radiallahu an, he mentions an amazing narration and this narration is recorded in the book of Imam At-Tirmidhi rahimahullah. And the narration goes along the lines of these words. I saw the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on a brightly moonlit night wearing a red garment like a cloak. The messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was wearing a red cloak. Look at the imagery in the hadith. It's uh, a beautifully moonlit night, full moon, and then the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wearing a red cloak. Now, Jabir ibn Samura radiallahu anhu, he states, I started looking at the messenger and then looking at the moon. I looked at the messenger, I looked at the moon. I looked at the messenger, I looked at the moon. He says, Wallahi, by Allah, the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was much, much more beautiful than the full moon sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, this is your beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam who used to cry and weep for us. He weeps so much for us. He used to weep, Ummati, Ummati, my nation, my nation. He loved us so much. So finally to conclude, I leave you all with a very sincere piece of advice. If you truly love the Messenger, if you truly love him, if you wish to secure the love of your maker, and if you wish to be successful in this world as well as the hereafter, you need to follow him, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Just as our maker states in the Noble Quran, قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِي فَاتَّبِعُونِي يُحْبِبْكُمُ اللَّهَ يحببكم الله ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم والله غفور رحيم Say O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Tell them, tell your sahaba, tell your ummah If you love Allah, in kuntum tuhibbun Allah If you love Allah, fattabi'uni, then follow me And what will you get in return? Yuhbibakum Allah Allah will love you in return Wa yaghfir lakum dhunubakum And he will forgive you of your sins Wallahu ghafoorur rahim Allah is the most forgiving, the most merciful Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, read about him, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Study about him, study his sunan, revive them and emulate him.
in all walks of your lives. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us all to revive our Prophet's Sunan as much as possible and to also act upon them as much as possible. I ask Him Azza wa Jal to forgive all of our sins, accept our good deeds and just as how He kept uniting us every Wednesday to revive a beautiful Sunnah of our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, may He unite us in the gardens of paradise with that very Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Please don't forget to share this video as well as the previous 29 videos as much as possible on a constant basis so that we inspire as many people as possible to, towards a beautiful Sunnah revival. I look forward to speaking to you all in coming episodes insha'Allah ta'ala. Until then, I love you all for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Support the Dawah. Donate now. Go to thedailyreminder.org slash donate.